What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about tablets. I have received a lot of messages, a lot of comments from different subscribers and viewers. Most of them have asked me which tablet they should buy. Most of the people they want to buy budget tablet and some of the people have even asked me about rugged tablets. Yeah, there are people who also want to buy flagship tablets. So I have decided to do a video. Here I have three different tablets from three different categories. I personally believe that these three tablets are the best in their category. So well, let's start from rugged tablet. Today I have this Hotwave R6 Pro. This Hotwave R6 Pro comes with a Helio P60 SoC, 8GB of LPDDR4X RAM and 128GB of storage. Not only that, we can also use SIM card inside this and we can also use SD card to expand storage. This Hotwave R6 Pro is built with metal and premium quality materials. I think considering the design language, this one even actually looks better than any other premium or flagship tablets. Look at this. Super cool design language. Okay, some people may think that, well, this is a rugged tablet. Can we actually play games on this or can we actually use this one in our daily life? I have been using this tablet for almost 3 months now and have been playing games without any issues. But if you want to buy a tablet for gaming, definitely this one isn't for you. On the other hand, I know there are a lot of people who want to use a tablet while they do some outdoor activities. So this tablet is for those people. This is the best for those people because we can even wear a gloves, I mean mechanical gloves and then use this tablet. I have left a link of this tablet and the review video of this tablet in the description box below. If you are interested then go ahead check the review video and check the product. Well before you go there are two other things that I want to talk about this tablet. Number one even if this is a rugged tablet this one comes with a very good display panel. A FHD panel with 1200 by 800 resolution and you know what this one comes with 15600 mAh battery. What? Really? Yeah, this one comes with a 15,600 mAh battery inside it. So I have tested and have managed to put this one in standby mode for more than 35 days. I think it was like 37 or 38 days. And you can imagine actually 15,600 mAh battery, it will be very difficult to drain because this one comes with Helio P60 SoC, which isn't an energy hungry, rather an energy efficient SoC. Oh yeah, this one isn't that heavy too. Some people think a rugged tablet means a very heavy thing. It's not that heavy. It's actually on the lighter side. Oh yeah, here comes this second tablet, Ule Phone Tab A8. Actually, there is an option that we can buy this tablet with a keyboard. Moreover, we don't need to recharge the keyboard. That's an amazing thing, right? How is that possible? Yeah, we are gonna talk about that. How is that possible and many other things. But before that, you know, being a tech YouTuber, I have received and used a lot of different budget tablets. But this Ule Phone Tab A8, I think this one offers the best value for money. This one offers the best bang for our bucks. This Ule Phone Tab A8 comes with a Helio P22 SoC, 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. This tablet definitely isn't a gaming tablet but I have managed to play games. What I have enjoyed with this tablet is its display panel. This one comes with an amazing 10.1 inch display panel with a 1920 by 1200 resolution and 224 pixel per inch density. This one is a FHD plus panel and Ulefone has managed to calibrate this display panel to its level best. This one goes very bright and offers a very sharp picture quality. Ulefone has also added eye care and dark mode inside this tablet so yeah our eyes gets enough protection. Well, this Ule Phone Tab A8 actually gets connected to its keyboard through pogo pins. So whenever the keyboard is connected to the tablet, the keyboard actually gets powered through the tablet. So we don't need to take care of the keyboard. We don't need to recharge this keyboard. We don't need to worry about whether the keyboard has battery or not. We don't need to connect the keyboard through Bluetooth. Talking about Bluetooth, this Ulefone Tab A8 also supports Bluetooth 5.0. There is a 3.5 millimeter port and we can use dual SIM dual 4G. That's really a great thing. On top of this, this Ulefone Tab A8 comes with 6580 mAh battery and offers a very long screen on time. 
as in our studio we use two Ule Phone Tab A8 tablets. I've never seen any issues, any lags or anything. Rather, most of my workmates, I mean the people who works here in this Han Studio Pro, everyone likes this tablet due to its lightweight and amazing keyboard. The keys of this keyboard actually gets a very good travel and offers a very good tactile feedback. Also, check this. There is a trackpad. The touchpad is also very responsive and offers very good tactile feedback. I have also left a link of this Ule Phone Tab A8 in the description box below. And yeah, as I have reviewed this product, the link to the review video is also left in the description box below. If you are really looking for a budget tablet, then you should go with this Ule Phone Tab A8. Does this tablet look a bit familiar to you? This one looks like a OnePlus tablet, right? Yeah, this is Oppo Pad 2 and this one is actually a spin-off version of OnePlus tablet, a rebranded product with almost exactly the same specifications and the same performance. As I live in China, in China there is no OnePlus tablet available on the market, but I have already got this Oppo Pad 2. This Oppo Pad 2 comes with MediaTek Dimensity 9000 SoC, which is actually a flagship SoC. The edition I have over here is 8 plus 256 GB edition because I think this one offers the best value for money. The RAM Oppo has used this LPDDR5 RAM and we can option to get a 12 GB edition. Oppo has used UFS 3.1 storage and yeah, we also have an option to get a 512 GB edition. But 12 plus 512 GB edition is a bit too expensive so I don't think that one offers a very good value for money. There are three things I need to talk about. Number one, the display panel. We get a tablet because we want a larger viewing experience. If the display panel isn't good, then the user experience won't be as good as we require. This Oppo Pad 2 or OnePlus Pad actually comes with an IPS LCD panel. This one is a 11.61 inch LCD panel. But yeah, this one actually performs like an OLED panel. This is a flagship tablet, so definitely we require flagship performance from this and I'm super satisfied with its display panel. 1 billion colors, Dolby Vision, 144Hz refresh rate, 2000 by 2800 resolution and very high 296 pixel per inch density. If you haven't watched the review video of this Oppo Pad 2 on my channel, then I think you should watch that because in that video I have talked more about the display panel and gaming experience. Just to let you know, I need to mention that I have been playing Genshin Impact on this Oppo Pad 2 and I have enjoyed playing on this one rather than on a smartphone. Now you can imagine how good is the gaming performance of this Oppo Pad 2. Well, other than display performance, gaming, there are a few other things like 9610 mAh battery. That's really massive. That's one of the biggest that any of the other flagship tablets comes with. So definitely this one offers longer screen on time. And as this one comes with a 67 watt SuperVOOC charger, kudos to Oppo. This one takes a very short time to get fully charged. Finally, I know some people may not like this design. I mean, the rear camera setup, it's a bit different than the traditional setup. But the rear camera, I mean the 13 megapixel camera that Oppo has used, actually performs and performs like a monster. I have even taken some photos with this tablet even if I had option to take the photo with a cell phone only because this one offers decent camera performance. Well, I haven't left any link of this Oppo Pad 2 in my description box below because I'm not sure whether it will be available outside China or not. As I live in China, I have managed to get this one. But one request, please go ahead, check my review video of this Oppo Pad 2. Well, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content.